Hello YouTube, I'm joined by Freaky Nasty, and uh, we're playing a, you know, replaying the Jund uh, creativity list. We made a couple changes. Um, we are trying out Pillage the Bog. Uh, it's a new card. I'm really excited to try it out. And then we are on the four thought sees. Um, but Pillage the Bog, you know, let's look at the top X cards of your library, where X is twice the number of lands you control, one of them in your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You can plot it. Um, so it's kind of works really well um, in synergy with, you know, our deck. So, uh, and you can kind of dig for creativities, um, things like that. And then we're trying the four thought seeds, as I'd mentioned. I know we were kind of very indifferent on them, but uh, you know what? Here we are. We're trying them out. What else you want from us? Um, but if you got anything to say about the list or anything? Yeah, I'm going to miss the far six. I think the far six give a lot of, like velocity, but I think maybe the curving, you know, a bitter reunion into a turn three pillage the bog plotted so that you can untap on turn four and search for either a creativity or a persist or a thought seize or whatever you kind of need that you're missing um, might be okay. So we're, we're giving this a try. Um, we also have another list of it where we cut the thought seizes completely and we're just trying pillage the bog alongside far seeks because I do think that these two cards play well together, but. Yeah. yeah, we'll try that next. That'll, that's that's for a future video. Yeah, that's future us. Right now, we're de dealing with the presence of this list, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in round one. Alrighty, here we are for round number one, and we l we tied, and then we just got crushed by the die. Um, uh, I mean, if I we think hit this a land, okay, yeah, okay, because we can get a yeah. surveil land. Yeah, try to hit our next land drop, and then... We're also on a draw. We are. And then we have, like, Red and Six and Bitter Union to bail us out. Yeah. Plus, even if we miss, we'll be able to Thought Season 2. Yeah. Like, worst case scenario. Yeah, I'm down for keeping this. They mold to six, so... Also, too, I, I think I wouldn't want to keep this if we didn't have a fatal push in the hand. Yeah, I because agree. Because if we were against, if we're against something like uh, prowess, like we we we're gonna need to interact. That's that's definitely a good point. Uh, looks like. Uh. It might be one of the. Affinity, decks. No. It, it could be um one of the. Uh, what do you call them? The welder brews? Oh, okay. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Kinda interesting. There's been some mono red like uh what's the card? Is it like... the guy that says if you descended this turn, make a treasure at the end of your turn? Oh uh, yeah, it's I don't a know. Goblin. The... Yeah. And I've seen the card. I, I can't think of the name. They're just digging. I currently no idea what they're doing. No. Looks like they were thinking about cracking again. Yeah, that's what it looked like. All right, let's get a raucous theater. Ah. I mean, we can bitter reunion. We can also I think I still these. want it on top. Yeah. Yeah. I think I kind of want to see what's going yeah, on over too. there. Yeah, I think I like the thoughtsies. Into hold up, fatal pusher thoughtsies. Like, okay, this is what I thought we were maybe playing against is the oh. the, the bushwhacker. Um... Interesting. So, what am I taking here? Am I taking the rebirth? Oh, they were probably thinking about trying to rebirth. But they wanted to they get the rebirth tragic... last turn and then went Ornithopter Bushwhacker this turn. Was that what they yeah. were thinking about? I think that's what they were thinking about for sure. But now they're thinking about, oh, can we play? If they draw land, they can like Ornithopter. They can rebirth. Ornithopter Rebirth the Star and Bushwhacker all in the same turn. Am I just supposed to take the Bushwhacker then? Yeah, I think so. If they draw land though, they also get to go Ornithopter Chatterstorm. Yeah. I guess this doesn't matter. Or they get to go Ornithopter Rebirth Chatterstorm. Chatterstorm make six creatures. Yeah. It's kind of a pain. Maybe I'm supposed to also shock thought seize and take the rebirth as well. Yeah. I like that. I like that line. Unfortunately, uh, not for our life total, but. Yeah. Is what it is. 
So yeah, now I think the opponent will play the uh, Ornithopter and then Chatterstorm. Oh, they're cracking oh. this now. That's good for us. Yeah, that is really good for us. They just wasted that. They could have just done it on their turn and still not lost any mana. Yeah, saw what they're drawing, more information. I think a lot, like, I usually see that with Tron players that are not great, you know. Uh... Ah, okay. They drew a land and an Ornithopter. Sure. Oh, three whole squirrels. <laughs> like, one fable just stops this dead, right? All right, didn't get there. Wow. Uh, I am going to discard a fable. Yeah, that's what I would do. We have quite a few of them. Okay, we did get a land. Can't really afford to push. No. I think I'm probably just going to scry it. We'll go down to 10, go down to 9, nine. after we fetch. Yep. I guess a bushwhacker would kind of suck here. That would be like real the, bad. The, the kick one or just hard casting this one? Oh, yeah. no, this one was surge only. Okay. Okay, yeah. Attack him for three. Okay, that they have during combat. It, yeah, I don't know. I mean, their clock. I mean, their clock isn't that bad, but yeah, it's just awkward. Awkward when someone like pauses. Awkward the middle pauses. Of, yeah. yeah. Oh shit! I, I thought I was still on second main. Um. Okay, well that's on me, I guess. It's fine. Um. I don't want to shock, so I'm just gonna get mountain and play. Uh, um, play a fable. fable. Probably a good idea. I just block her and then get allows us to maybe creativity next turn. Yep. That's my own fault. I thought we were still on main. I didn't realize I'd already skipped through main. I do I I did that in my uh my late like one of my last videos. Like I, I thought I was saying okay on their main. Gleeful demolition. You got it. Yeah. Oh wait, do they have the bushwhacker too? Okay, oh they do. We're dead. Goodness. Right? Uh, two, yeah. Two, two four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, we're dead. Wow. Wow. That that was that was uh, there were some draws. Good couple of cards to have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All yeah, right, we were drawing a thought season anyway. I guess we we're gonna discard a couple of cards. Yeah. Well, right, now well, molten claps in and like they can't beat this card, right? I don't think so. So let's just go down to three. Bring in the Molten Collapse, and I think these are too slow. Yeah. Don't thought these. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good to me, I think. That's all the cards. They have text. Well, this will probably be a destruction if we draw the second land, right? So <laughs> it seems like keep... a seems like a really uh you know common thing that happens to us is just one land uh starter hands. Well we'll see. Okay, okay. The opponent kept seven cards, it's kinda scary. Yeah, we might get run over. They drew out of it last game. They did. Also missed my end steps surveil where we could have maybe done something, but not probably not because I just would have untapped and played a fable anyway and we still would have died, so Yeah. Okay, I think you need those for storm opponent. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, next turn they get to... I'm just going to take the Rebirth. Yeah. All right, Mr. Lander up. Yep. I think Bitter Reunion 
Archon persist on the play was just like too good to pass up. Yeah. Plus we had two looks at it. Yep. Still a lot of land in our deck as well. Okay, that's their draw for the turn. Oh no, they had that. They had that. It was the, that's the other side of it. Oh no, this... Wait, why does it look white? Does that bar look white to you? Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be red. Not procure. Yeah, 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 yeah. What could their other card even be? Are they just thinking about playing this as a 1 1? Yeah. I think that they played the green side of the 1 card. They can't really kick it right now, but they can just like, you know, discard draw. Okay. Um Yep. Yep. Well hopefully we uh at this point it's almost like if we draw the land we just move to discard and then we cast persist the next turn, but... No, I still bit a reunion. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make one squirrel, so next turn they can cast the Imperosaur. Yeah. They can go Bushwhacker, Imperosaur, go. Right? Yes, I One, believe so. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, they need a land also. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, garbage. Sadness. Literally like the worst... One That's the, the absolute worst because I couldn't yeah. just go to discard because we still wouldn't have had an untapped land next turn. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we didn't because we would have drawn Fable and uh, been very sad. Oh, now they can do it. Now we're getting Imperial Sword. Yep. It do bees like that. Well, I mean, it's their turn four and we have two land in play, so it's like whatever. Yeah. A sixteen, sixteen. We're also at thirteen life. Yes. How wait? How are we at thirteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, I guess it just is. All right. Well, we didn't. We didn't get there. Um, not much really to say on that one. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Kept risky hand. Got punished. Yep, yep. We'll catch you in the next round. All right, here we are for round number two, and we won the dice roll. And we have, and we have, you know, lands, lands and, and, and spells. spells. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. I didn't know, I didn't know our deck could do this. This is news to me. Nah. Cool. And we get to do a surveil, fetch a surveil land. Are we, uh, is it, is there one that we grab first for sure? Is it like the green red ones better or the... I think I'm grabbing the green one because I'm going to want to cast thoughts, or maybe want to cast run. Well, but yeah. Might not matter. No. I think they're taking the run for sure. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> um. Guess at this point I do want the Rockets Theater. Yeah, in case we draw like Thoughtsies. I want that. Yeah. Nah, my plan is to play the Bitter Union here. Well, yeah, I know. I think Even that's obviously... Even if I drew Thoughtseize, I don't know if I would cast it. Okay, that's a good point. I want to get as many things that they knew about out of my hand as possible. Yep. Next turn, I might Thoughtseize. Yeah, they're, okay, they're salty. This might be the Salty Satoru build. Yeah, so I, I just played against someone playing uh, Salty Vengevine, but... 
Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, crab vine. The crab vine deck, yeah. Uh, okay. Counterspell, counterspell, Jace, Profane Tutor, Fatal Push. Huh. Well, their land base is not kind to them right now. Yeah. They're probably just going to suspend this tutor next turn. I just don't want them to have Fatal Push. Yeah. I can kind of beat everything else, I think. Yep. All right, we'll play a Bitter Union. We'll discard the Scalding Tarn. Yeah, which they know about the Scalding Tarn. Yep. So now they don't know any of the cards in our hand, and I mean, they're all bangers, <laughs> so... Yeah. Why would they... I'm so glad they don't know about our, our really aggressive... Angry hand. And we do have Fable. Fable's good. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, they did indeed suspend the Profane Tutor. Yep. Uh, I think I'll be discarding this one. Yeah, probably. So yeah. I think I want to go. I want to go Dwarven Mind, Fable, pop one of these to give him Haste Attack. Yeah, I like that a lot. I I played against a Jun creativity player who uh, missed a lethal line where they could have gotten a, a dwarf and then given it haste to do the extra point of damage and they they missed it. So I always thought that you know obviously we have two better reunions, but might as well use one for for that purpose. I might discard the Rockus Theater, actually. Yeah. I was thinking about discarding the Arab Mesa, but I think I want to discard Bitter Union Rockus Theater. Okay, so they're going to hold up Counterspell. Yep. Okay, I will continue beating face then. Lightning Bolt, love it. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would like to discard these two. Okay, I like that. Bait out. Do I want to bait a counter spell like this? I think I kind of just want to go four, five, six, seven. Yeah. See if they counter this. Yeah. Okay. They definitely counter this, right? Yeah. And then I get to persist anyway. I don't get to haste it, but I get to persist. Yep. Sequencing. Sequencing, yep. sequencing, yeah. So they take three here, then I attack for three more, put them down to two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that was pretty easy to play through. Yeah, I definitely have not seen the opponent's deck, but uh seems kind of spicy with the new Jace. I like it, whatever they're doing. I don't think I want to do anything different. Yeah, besides just bring in Veil Summer. Maybe if they're a Jace spells deck, they might be surgical -ing. True. That's, that's I kind of don't care with that. Do we want... Still, oh, still haven't drawn Pillage the Bog. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we have that card in our... We're trying that out? That's news to me. Um, is Molten Collapse a consideration? Because it destroys Planeswalker? But... I don't know. Oh, don't... Good, good call. Maybe I just don't care about these Thought Seizes? I don't know. Oh, actually, these Fatal, fatal pushes, pushes are pretty bad. bad. Yeah, I would rather have the Molten Collapse over... And maybe and then... go down to 2 Bolt? Yeah. Because I don't know what they're doing, but they're definitely doing something uh, degenerate. So... Okay, let's try this out. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't think this is a. I, I would not have thought about molten collapse. I just would have left the removal and been like, well, they got to try to kill us somehow, right? Yeah, it was just like probably with the Valky. That's probably why they have. They're probably just kind of trying to do Jace Valky things, right? That's what I would assume seems to be the most. Bonkers That's why the profane tutors. Yeah. It seems a little awkward though because like, so they want their turn four to be Jace with counterspell up, but they want their turn two to be pros suspend profane tutor for whatever half they're missing. 
Yeah. Which means that they don't get to use the they don't get to use the counter spells very effectively, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Like it seems like their plan is to just counter spell to, to stall until they get the mana to do both those things, but they can't protect the com the combo, quote unquote, that they're trying to do. They they can on turn four, but they can't yeah. like they can't during you know turn two and three very effectively if they're trying to use their those turns for setup. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe you just play as a control deck, and you just play for it for like really late game. And you just yeah. don't care about it early game at all. We do have pillage the bog in our hand. We have Ren six. Yeah, this is the yeah. perfect hand for pillage the bog too, because we get to suspend it or we get to yeah, plot, plot it, it on turn three. Yeah, and then. On turn four, cast it looking for a, a protection spell or a thought seize or something like that. Yeah, I like that. So we'll keep this. Might get thought seized again. I also, I'm a never really a big fan of thought seize plus counter spells in the same deck. Um, yeah. Like I've I've always found it to like kind of clash because like you cast thought seize to try to figure out what you need to spend your counter spells on, but like the game moves so fast, you know. Like I agree, it's just not a realistic. Yeah, I think the only deck that like I could see them being the same one is if you're playing like Death Shadow and you're playing like Thought Seize and then you're playing like the Drown in the Lock, or you know, like yeah, yeah, even that's a lock because it's, spell. Yeah. It also serves double duty, right? Yeah. Or like you could take the spell you're worried about, but let them cast the uh, let them cast the creature. Yeah. But then your drown still gets it. I I agree, but I I don't like the card counter spell. Yes. Yeah. Alongside thought seize. Yeah, that, I was just saying like that's the only instant I could see it being okay, but yeah. I'm sure there's like people in the in the chat that are like ah I play my blue black control deck and I like thought seize on the sideboard or something, but. Yeah, you, you, you can you like it all you want. I'm just saying I've always found tension with <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh, what if I draw the thought seize on turn two and I want to hold up counterspell? That is very awkward. Uh... Now what? Yeah. I guess I don't want to always yield to this. Sometimes I want to respond. Mm -hmm. I can make him blow the spell bomb. Do I want to just draw this as a backup? I think it's probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine as a backup. Yeah, next turn, our plan is to plot the Pillage yep. Bog. <clears throat> and then, as we mentioned earlier, then we're going to try to use it to get a protection spell or something for creativity. Yep. And this is also target player? Oh, no, the Veil doesn't work with this. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be blue or black. Mm-hmm. All right, we will shock. We will plot pillage the bog. Pass. It's kind of crazy that like it's a two mass spell, but you plot it for three, and that for some like for some reason that's that's good, you know. Well, it's almost better because it means yeah. that when you're casting it, you're casting it for free, and you're gonna have four land in play, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I was just it's just an interesting concept, you know. Okay, they're tapping out. Oh, as foretold. Sure. Okay. They're gonna draw some cards. They're they're playing. Yeah. Uh, oh shit! Oh. Inevitable betrayal. Okay. Well. That's fine. Yeah, that's actually fine. That means I only have one archon left in my deck, though. Yeah. Uh, I it, these decks are usually playing the. Uh, ancestral visions. So let's go Dwarven Mine. Cast Pillage the Bog without paying its mana cost. Oh. These all go to the bottom, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to look. I think. I think I'm gonna want to take the veil. Yeah, looking at the card, I think that's the best. 
problem is this Nile spell bomb's getting me, getting us for sure. Maybe I take Thought Seize and I try to Molten Collapse this in this. Oh, I didn't fetch this turn. Fuck. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess that would have been something to think about, but we didn't know what would be at the top. Uh, I, we already knew oh, about Drew, the Molten Collapse. We did, yeah, I already so I guess knew that about was, the Molten Collapse. I could have yeah. done both of those so that, Yeah, that was definitely a... Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, we definitely should have done I, that, but... So I, I should what I should have done, actually, is like um, cast this Pillage of the Ball, grab something, and then go fetch land, crack it, Molten Collapse, kill this and this. They pop this in response, it still kills the Archon, and then I can persist the Archon. Yep. That's what I should have done. Yep. Now I'm in a, like a weird spot where I have to do... I have to jump through some hoops, and if they have a removal spell and then they pop this, I have zero Archons left. Yeah. We're on a crappy so, B-Town plan. Yeah. So, so knowing that... I guess I do want the Thought Seize then. This is the only line I left myself, so here we go. Yeah, that's why I didn't really have much to input there. I guess I should have... Uh, ca ca the multi collapse was my card, so... My recommendation card, so I should have been like, oh, hey. Well, now their inevitable betrayals suck, right? Yeah. Hopefully they waste their time casting them. Is it one or less? Or is it for the exact counter... What? For this? Oh, okay. You can cast... Less yeah. than or equal to the number of counters on it. Okay. Okay, so they tutor. They play the new Jace. Suspend a Valky. Plot a Valky, I'm sure. Yep, they plot a Valky to kill my Archon. I should have taken the Veil. Oh. Never mind. I'm the best that's ever existed at magic. Exactly. So let's go Thought Sees You. Yeah, now we now we have some really good lines. Now we can we can molten collapse. Well, I mean I guess killing the Niles Bell Bomb at this point's not Doesn't matter doesn't anymore. Doesn't matter anymore. But I could take the visions. Yeah. And then I get to go attack. Yep, make them sack the Jace. Also make them discard the Thought Seize. Yep. Draw another Thought Seize. Uh, okay, they go down to four. Yeah, are we playing the Fable? Yeah, I think so. Up? Yeah. In case they have Edicts. Like, their whole plan now is to Valky minus, right? Yep. So we're playing this. And we're going to play this. We're just going to leave up Veil of Summer. Like, very, very, very much on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're uh, basically posting neon, like, neon signs, but the opponent doesn't really have a lot of options. They probably should crack the spell bomb now. Yeah, okay. They, well, they are. are. But now if they do somehow find a way of killing this Archon, like if they drew Land Damnation, right? So they play the Valky, they try to minus on the Archon, I Veil, they cast Damnation, I'll still have Persist to kill them. Yep. Okay, well that was a pretty good top deck, huh? That was a good draw, yeah, indeed. Okay. Uh... Do you think we should have cast the Veil in response to the Visions? Because if they draw, like, a Counterspell? Good point. Yeah, I probably should have. Yeah. I wanted them to minus the Valky, though. I didn't want them to plus it. Yep. True. Just something to think about. Yeah, I should have done it, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also exiled instead of killed. It really depends on what they drew as well, because... I mean, we still have three power, so we're going to be 
to be able to dig two different cards, and, like get rid of a couple two cards, and then we can like keep like yeah. Then we can um like if we draw or red and six, they can they can use this on our turn too with instance. Oh, uh, okay. So if they have removal, even if they tap out here, it's still probably live. Okay, makes sense. Oh. Well, I like that card. Uh, I am going to discard Persist only. Yeah, I, I agree with I that. Because I want all the rest of these. So, Thought Sees You. Thought Sees You. Come on, Moto, you can do it. Okay, you're done. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice inevitable betrayal. <laughs> never concede. Never, never concede. That's their ninja way. Sweet. All right. Well, that one. Yeah, the opponent's like, deck was kind of was very interesting. That's for sure. I I haven't seen any uh, brew, uh brew, I'm sure you have, but I haven't seen any brewing around that. But you seem to know, obviously, that they were going, you know, Valky. You know, seems like the best thing to do with that combo. Yeah, I I guess I didn't, hadn't really thought about the as for tolds. It's just slow. I, I think that their whole deck is like not very cohesive. The mm -hmm. idea that they have to resolve, uh, like they, that they want to cast thought seas, that they want to suspend on their own turn like either Ancestral Visions or Profane Tutor, uh, that they want to cast the card as foretold, and then they also want their deck to be full of counter spells. <laughs> like it just doesn't it just doesn't work. Like pick a lane, right? Like you, you decide to be the Thought Seize deck and then if you want to play uh interaction, like the spell pierces are fine because you can usually hold up a mana. Yeah. But it's hard to hold up blue blue. Yeah, I agree. I think they're definitely I definitely don't know if I would play that configuration of that particular deck, so, but... It's just, a, it's a normal, like, brewer's pitfall, right? It's just, like, yeah. you just don't think about how your deck actually functions together. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, any other thoughts on our deck or that matchup? Nope, I think it was pretty straightforward. Pilchbog actually was really good there, even though yeah. we took the wrong line. Like, we had a way better line, and I just kind of fumbled it by being really excited to cast this card, but yeah. uh, this card would have been was really strong in helping us find the interaction we wanted for the turn that we wanted to play. I just missed the line I was supposed to take. But that's not Pillage's fault. <laughs> no. Uh, but either way, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next round. Alrighty, here we are for round number three, and we lost the die roll. We, again, have the card we're trying to test out, and Ren and Six, Fatal Push, Creativity, the sand seems good. Great. Yeah, what a what a really good curve here, right? Yeah. Only thing that would make this curve better, actually, I think, is unironically a far seek. Yeah, I yeah, I would agree. It definitely feels like it would fit the puzzle. Yeah, because then we could like far seek plus fatal push on turn three, and then on turn four, you can pillage, look for interaction, and then go for it on five type deal x two. Yeah. Right, Thundering, Thundering Falls. Falls. What do they do? Okay, they put Misty Rainforest in the graveyard, so I don't know. This My... tells us nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just... Not creativity. Yeah. That, not, that... not a red fetch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Are we thought season? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Let's find out what's going on. This is another reason why I don't normally like the thought season in this deck. Like, we have to fetch Shock next turn now as well for this run and six. six. yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, well, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought seized and uh, you know considered your life your life choices? Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, I'm gonna take this in case that they're on the four color version with white and solitudes. This takes a white card out of their hand. Mm -hmm. But that is the only reason I took that card instead of just clicking at random. Makes sense. That is a good reason. I'm pretty sure most of the lists are playing the white, the Solitudes. Seems like a good hand. Uh, thought seizable. It's a thought seize proof hand. 
Uh, opponent not giving us any information. Actually playing a land that we knew about. Whoa. Damn it. That has not happened in a while, actually. Huh. Let's see if they drew a force, huh? Yeah. They could also, uh, I think I don't know if sure. I'm not sure if they're playing subtleties in the main. They think they thought we were scam. Now they think they were jund. No, I'm just kidding. No, we played an arid mesa first. Uh, I think they knew what was up. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think they knew what was up. Also, too, I get to fatal push a thing. I guess I'm just casting Pillage of the Bog next turn. Yeah, it doesn't really fit well in our... Oh, actually, I can't. Because I have to fetch shock again. I can't do that. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, they drew a Lorien revealed for the other turn. Oh. Or no, they bought they binned it from this meticulous archive. Oh, that yeah, yep. I like how in the uh, right hand side it's like Larian revealed. It's like all messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. I wonder what they're gonna hit. Oh, rhinos! Shocker. And only revealed land, so we don't know any other makeup of their deck so far. Two unknown cards in hand. I guess I'm casting Bitter Reunion here, huh? I kind of have to cast Bitter Reunion Fatal Push. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, our hand hasn't changed this whole game. That's cool. Yep. Oh, no, we drew the Bitter Union. We did. All right, it's take six and then fucking pray. Yeah, that they didn't draw any interaction. Correct. They also might just cascade again, and then I think we're still dead, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they should do. Will they do it? I don't know. So they attack us for six, we go down to five. Next turn we fetch down to four. We get an Archon. We go up to seven. Go up to seven, and then they'll have... Uh, yeah, two... Sixteen power in play? Yeah. Cool. Well, no, they'll, they'll have to sack a 2-2 two -two here. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really do much. Dang. Okay, subtlety. They are playing subtlety in the main and leyline binding. Yep. Also, for anybody who doesn't know, this matchup felt unwinnable post-board. And you, a lot of times this happened in game ones. Yeah. Just really, really unfortunate. Uh, a deck to be paired into right now. Yes. Go to seven, block. Oh, yeah, we're just still dead. Yeah. We are indeed. I want to try to get some more information. Okay. Forest pitch fire us. Those are two really good draws that they that they got after we knew their whole hand. Yes. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. I want these. Um. Yeah, fatal push doesn't seem good. These don't want these. Oh yeah, both seem terrible. <sighs> this won't collapse doesn't do anything. No. I guess I want pick your poisons. We'll go down to pillage the bog. It's a little slow. Indeed. And I don't think I can switch to Emrakul Sarah's emissary because they just have so many outs to emissary. Yep. 
Uh, yeah. But they get so many good interactive spells and counter spells and shit. Like, it's really hard. Yeah. They uh, definitely post board. They get a lot of tools. Well, I like that one. Indeed. Next turn, I think our plan is just bit of reunion, discard Archon, draw two fresh new cards. Hopefully, it persists. Yeah. It's going to be a tough one, no matter what. Yeah. Like, Leyline Binding is really good against us. Like, I don't know. Everything's just good. This is the other problem, too, is that they never have to tap out anymore if they don't want to. Um, this is one of the things that when they could go off at instant speed that they would also do, is that they would just suspend the Rhinos on turn one and then just play at instant speed only the rest of the game. Yeah, that's... And, like, the entire pressure was on you to do something, and it made it very difficult. Yeah, I think that's definitely why Valinor Burst got the axe. All right. Okie dokie. I might just play the Rockus Theater cast Pillage the Bog next turn, look at the top six. Yeah, seems good. Maybe? I don't know. Well, we could draw a card and uh, could, everything could change, but I think that's probably the plan. Or we could bid a reunion, discard a land, draw two cards. Yeah, we could do that too. We could Ruckus Theater. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Oops, all tap lands. Yeah. So I think either way we're playing the... I think we're the... playing the theater. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess I want a bitter reunion then. Discard this other theater. Yep. Oh, they're thinking about... Okay. No, they're not. They weren't thinking about it. Okie dokie. Really wish I could have drawn a Thought Seize this turn or, like, looked for one and then had the opportunity to go, like, fetch shock and cast it or something. Oh Maybe wait, I only was... have one Blood Crypt in my current list. Maybe with Pillage the Bog, that's not good. Yeah, saying that. Yeah, I, I think. I think that is a good point. Hmm. I didn't really think about the mana because, again, I was more thinking about the Far Seek plus Pillage the Bog interactions, where like you draw this late game after you Far Seek a couple times, and this might be like, look at the top sixteen cards of your library, you know? Yeah. That seems bananas. Okay, they went over 34 cards, so we have a lot of things to count. <laughs> yes. Uh, force is the first so one. So, one, three force. Two, three forces. There's 14 cards still left in the bottom of the library. Two endurances in hand. Uh, only one solitude. Oh, two solitudes. Five cards in hand. All right, no shot that this works. But we don't have another play. We do not. I think we're playing just the Dwarven Mine. Just save yep. the life, I guess. Even though it doesn't really get much better. <laughs> we I also... guess I could just take 10. I could play the Commercial District, plot the Pillage the Bog. Yikes. It's really bad. I could also just cast the Pillage the Bog. Look for a Thought Seize. That seems good, obviously. Uh, they have one, one Force Negation that's unaccounted for. 
the problem is I can't take it right now because if I want to cast the pillage the bug, I'm not going to take this. I'm looking for a thought seize. Yeah. So we'll graveyard that. I'm going to cast pillage the bug. I might force it. Okay, they didn't. Okay, so now a good thing I bottom this because I think this was the eighth card. Yep. So we take dot C's. And I just try to clear the way for next turn. But they did have the other force. They also have tide binders. Alright, we're cooked. And they're uh, binding. Yeah, because they can do the dwarven mine, they can tide binder yep. the dwarven mine. They can do whatever they want. Alright. Yep. Yeah. So we we had no there was no uh opportunity to win this game. Zero. Yeah. But their their hands stacked. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, any other thoughts on that matchup or should we move on it's, to the next one? It's a terrible matchup. Um it's it's better for the deck that for the version of creativity that gets to play Teferi. But we just don't have tools for it. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next round. All right. Here we are for the uh, fourth round, and we what did we lose the dice roll? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have Thoughtseize, Run and Six, Fable, Lands against a blue deck. We have no, no fetch lands anymore. on the sand is very bad. Yes. Ah, living end. <laughs> uh, Another great matchup for this deck. Next turn we could probably just move to discard, right? They just put the archon in the graveyard. Yep. If I don't draw anything that's useful, yeah. Hedge Maze. Let's see what they do with their Surveil. The thing is, is that they can just wait forever and just like still get a board that beats the Archon. You are correct. But Archon in a hand doesn't really do much, but... Does Ren 6 really impact? Nope. Yeah. I think it buys us some time. Also, too, I think some of these decks have been playing main board um, endurances, and it's just like, well, never beaten that shit. <laughs> no. All right, this running six still doesn't do anything, but yeah, maybe it eats a counter spell. I don't know. It could, or a salty. Be bad. Mm, well played with Archon. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. We are getting bodied. Yeah. We are indeed. I mean, they could cast it right now and we would lose. Yeah, but I mean, it. I think it, it's caused the opponent to like, well, sadness, um, to wait, which I guess I don't know is a good or bad thing, but. Maybe they would have waited anyways. Hard to tell. Yep. At this point, they should just cycle twice and then cast it. Eleven fetch lands we're drawing to would have been would have been good. Yeah, eleven also, out of forty nine. 
Oh, uh, dang. GG. I forgot that like some lists are playing like two main deck fairy macabs. Oh, that's disgusting. Yep. Uh, turn the earth. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, push seems bad. I guess emissary is okay, but like they could just kill it. They could just cast another living end. Living end. Yeah. Just want to name creature, and then you're kind of good, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yep, here we go. We have fetch lands and a Ren 6. Boy, oh boy. Port mold is 6. And kept. What do we see out with our surveil? Don't know they haven't passed priority back. Yeah, no. The world may never know. Yeah, the four color creativity lists are like way better against these cascade decks. Yeah, you have counter spell, of course, yeah. Or and like, Teferis. Yeah, Teferis and you know, spell pierces. And... Oops. I'd like them to force this. Oh, oh. I don't want to yield. Okay. But I'm playing lazy right now. Just hand and mouse only. No keyboard. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> they keep making me click. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm just, I'm hard leaned back. Checked yeah. out on this one. <laughs> All right. Cycle Jennerson. You got it. Oh, opponent, please. Do you have the force or not? I'd, I'd be very happy if you forced. I might have salty. I'd rather they forced. I know, I agree. Don't I... put that evil on me. You're right. Or just let it resolve. It. <laughs> or just sit there forever, let it resolve. Yeah, yeah. Also, too, so they cycled the first one, they drew the generous in, cycled it to get a land out of their deck, then to cycle the second. And then yeah. they still didn't know if they wanted to do it. Temple Garden tapped, your turn. Okie dokie. Goodbye, Indomitable Creativity. It was good knowing you. This is a tough uh, choice. Tank, tough. tank, tank, tank. I guess I'll take the creativity. <laughs> yeah. They're spending all the time reading Pillage, Pillage the Bog. Probably. We, we did it to ourselves. Hey, I like Thoughtseize. I do too. Let's Thoughtseize them. Let's seize their thoughts. Uh... Fairy Macabre, Force, Shardless Asian, Generous in. Yeah. It's an easy Shardless Asian. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The old cycling response. Perfect. 
Alright, put this back over there. Oh, I can continue fetching now. Awesome, thank you. Naisu. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get a mountain. Yeah. Play a bit of reunion. Get back one of the lands. Yep. They put a grief in the gar graveyard. Oh, I drew another pillage the bog. But I think I'd rather do this. Yeah, I agree. I think playing the fable seems like the best. Like, they're at 13. Oh, I guess I probably should have hasted them, huh? I was kind of thinking that, but I thought maybe, maybe we were saving it for if we get an Archon out, but... I do kind of want to save it for an Archon. So we can cast Pillage the Bog and Fable? Yeah, I want to haste if I do the Fable, though, so I yeah, think yeah, I'm going to go Dwarven Mine... Oh yeah, I guess we could yeah, we could do Dwarven Mine, just cast Fable, Haste, and we could still cast Pillage Bog. Yep. We're gonna cast the force of negation here. Yep. Works for me. Four, five. Uh, it's only one more point of damage. I guess I don't have to pop the bitter reunion now. Yep. I also don't have to choose to ping with this run in six yet. Yeah, we can definitely plus it and then consider. All right, let's look at the top 10, Ten cards of our library. Seems pretty powerful. Huh. We could... Well, clearly they didn't have the Cascade spell. Yeah, but they might, so I'm supposed to take the Creativity now? They just used the Force on a... And I, I doubt that yeah. they're going to have another one, right? Yeah, I think Creativity is the best play, because I think Thoughts using them, they would have probably Cascaded if they could last turn. So... Yeah. Which also means I'm still going to pick this up. Yep. Oh, actually, this was terrible, because if they have the Cascade now, then the group still gets it. Uh, yes. Mm. Yeah, that was definitely... I should have yeah. just taken Thoughtseize. Or we could have plotted the Pillage of the Bog. No, no, I, 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 I wanted to cast it, that's oh, okay. for sure. <clears throat> we just have to hope they miss on another Surveil. They like have, like, two looks again. Yeah. They put living into the graveyard. Okay. Yeah, they have the cascader. Well, oh, maybe not. Well, they have a two good more look. looks. Yeah. Then they concede. And they concede. So I guess I do have a run that's going to alt. Yeah. Um. Yarp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Huh, I'm just trying to think. I always like wonder why the opponent I guess yeah, they were probably just yeah, saw the writing on the wall for sure. Um Sounds very interesting. It is kind of slow, and it can't cast Pillage of the Bog. I guess we can Surveil. This does, this hand doesn't cast anything. Yeah. So probably we'll get. I was just trying to think like salvage it together. This hand's much, much better. better. Yeah. 
Sorry, I was trying to figure out like what was the sequence of the last hand. You're just like, this hand needs to go to the garbage bin, you know? Yeah. 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 Okay, so they're digging for grief. Usually that's what that means if you're cycling on your main phase. Every day we're thought season, I guess. Yeah, uh, because of that, I think I'm just going to like cut myself off of green right now. Yeah. A little unfortunate, but... Start with the good art. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, you gotta... Even though the artist who did the other thoughts, he's is very nice. I, I met them at Lucas, uh, Denver. Lucas, yeah, yeah. you know your art's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, uh, we, we met them at the RC. They was like, you know, I did thoughts, he's too, right? We went, yeah, we know. We know, yeah. <laughs> we didn't yeah. bring any. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here at Shai my Murktide and Beans and uh yep. and uh Charma, yeah. So I think I'm just taking I like over the next three turns I'm just taking one of each of these every turn. Probably. Unfortunate that they have triple cascader in their hand. Yes. They don't have any more cyclers besides Fair Macabre though, so but their deck is full of them. So we'll see. So like, they must have like cycled street wraith, cycled street wraith, and like just got, you know, like. I think they found this and this. Yeah, probably. All I'm right. still really surprised. Oh, uh, they put foundation breaker in the graveyard. Why did they bring that in? Oh, fable, I guess. Yeah. But like fable, like isn't really the axis that. <laughs> I I don't know. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing, dude. I know, yeah. Yeah, I don't want that. Thought sees you. If they have a land, we're just cooked. Alright, see the same exact hand. Hope they don't draw land. Yep. Yeah, they drew a land. We're dead. Sag. <sighs> They're going to cycle the Pharamacobs also? They should with it on the stack. All right, they didn't. So this oh. is sort of beatable then, I guess. You may, okay. Yeah. I mean, not really, but... Yeah, I think we're in danger. Six. I mean, they have 12 power in play. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure what we could draw. So we go to twelve. Okay. We I guess grab mountain here. Play fable. We have a blocker. Play fable. We have a blocker. We know that they can't force. Next turn, we get to discard Thoughtseize Pillage the Bog. Try to find an Archon to live, but actually, can we even? Mm. Oh, yeah, we can, right? Yeah, we basically need land. Oh, yeah, like land creativity. Yeah, that, the tap oh, land. Oh, we actually still don't li live that way. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, we do, if we hit Sarah. Yep. Okay, well, we can't beat the fair Cubs, so... No. All right, needed them to brick their their land, and they didn't. Yeah. It seems like not a great matchup for us. I mean, but... any of these Cascade decks yeah. are terrible. Yeah. Hold off before we start the next round, but let's talk about the... Um, uh, I guess anything else we want to say about the... Again, matchup. we just don't have we don't have cards, right? Like we just have blank cardboard. We brought in two turn the earth and yeah, that's Sarah's emissary. Yeah, yeah. Didn't see him. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we'll uh, catch you guys in the next and last round. Alrighty. Here we are for the last round, and we lost the die roll. And uh... hmm. Good enough. Yeah. It's got surveil lands. 
Fatal Push. Two we also Fable. have a discard outlet persist. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of Fable. Obviously, I played a lot of Legacy, but Fable is just a really a card that kind of holds the glue together, you could say. Yeah. A lot of decks. It makes a deck like from okay to like a tier deck, you know. Yeah, we've had some Aqu unlucky yeah. losing of die rolls against very aggressive decks, and then a couple of bad matchups here. But yeah, I'm not hating the pillage the bog. No, I definitely think I want to try it out with far seek, you know. But I guess all the matchups that we've lost, like we we're on the on the draw. And, like, it didn't matter if we had Thoughtseize or, uh, like, either well, card was not. I don't know. Uh, Farseek may have accelerated us into situations that could have been winning. True. <sighs> Looks like we're against Cascade again. Yeah, three Cascade decks in a row. Oh. Well, maybe not. Four color. Four color. Um, let's go with the Raucous Theater. Don't want that. I think it was the Eldrazi Tron League today, uh, that or the, that came out my recent recent one. I was playing against Tron Creativity. They literally Ruckus theatered, untapped, uh, or like hit Archon and then persisted <laughs> turn two. Yeah, uh, good. Yeah, we why can't we do that? We need to try that. We've uh, done it in other leagues. Yeah, I know. Surprised they're not doing anything if they're four color. Yeah. Like turn three, they usually have plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, that does seem very odd. I'm not sure what they could have in their hand if they truly are four color or if there's something other, some other degenerate deck. I doubt it with Ren Six. Ren Six is like a fair card. <sighs> uh... This is a land, basically. It is. Oh, man. It's just like, it, it's so slow. It is. I'm going to try to draw the land. Yep. I think we're just like already behind. Going to fall farther behind if we don't hit the land. We don't hit the land. Uh, yep. I guess we're moving to discard. <laughs> Put an Archon in the graveyard. Actually... Turn off auto yields. Yeah, because we still we have a good idea of what we're playing against, but we don't know for certain. I might just play an Omnath here. Okay, this is basically the best possible. Yeah. Just using cards because I'm going to draw and have to discard next turn, probably. Yeah. Land, please. I think they're going to sack the Ren since I bolted it. Yeah. Yeah, and they're going to try to have a big turn. Please fetch land. Fetch land. Please fetch land. <sighs> nope. What about Dwarven Mine? No, I'm just kidding. We're in a lot of trouble. We are. They're like, hey, I have a fetch land. Yeah, I mean, well, they played a turn two run. I know. On the play. Yeah. Solitude. Yeah, solitude. Gross. Did four color get any new cards in the new set? No, not I don't really. Think so. Dang. Yeah, I guess we're just grabbing another, yeah. 
Oh, should yeah. I land the fatal pushing the Omnath? Hey, now we've got to land. Let's go. <laughs> Not in a good spot. No. Especially against the ring deck. Yeah. Yeah, ring is really good against our deck. They're going to attack our run in six. They are indeed. They have five cards in hand. Yeah, this is a ring, it looks like. Yep. Yikers. Yikers indeed. They kept the card on top. Right on time, Indomitable Creativity. Yeah. Guess I have to just try to go for an X2 next turn. Yeah. yeah we're definitely playing a Fable. All right, well, they're going up to seven cards. <laughs> no, and they have a Leyland Binding. Ah. Goodbye, Goblin Shaman and Renin Six. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. So they have another removal spell? I guess that's not what that means, or they're hoping to draw one. I mean, they're going to have six, six cards, cards in hand. hand. They well, snap they for their fetch, so they don't not another Omnath. Omnath. Yeah, no Omnath. Maybe they just have five lands in hand. No, I'm just kidding. Highly doubt it, because they're tapping mana. Looks like they're thinking about playing a Teferi. What? Oh, deal. Yeah. They just don't like... Mana. So they're just going to gain four life. Okay, they do have another Leyland Binding, so I guess nothing mattered. Our oh. Prismatic Ending. Okay. So that happens, and then... Yeah. Push this. I just want to imagine like, pushing an Omnath up cliff. Big jelly bean fell. Look, there's the cliffs <laughs> right there. Yeah, goodbye, running six. Had a good run. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just going for X2. Yeah, I think that's really all we can do. Guessing they have another solitude white card. That would be probably what I would put them on, but they are pausing kind of awkwardly. Well, they also paused after the first Dwarven Mine trigger, so that's why I was thinking they have something. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe they're just like replaying all of their decisions. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. They pitched a cosmic rebirth. Hmm. Is there a reason why you'd play it after? No, it's just discarding yeah. more cards. Yeah, I was gonna say like it makes sense just to get rid of one of the dwarfs. Uh, 
Okay, Pillage the Bog is a nice draw. Because now they're not going to have any cards in hand. Oh, they have red. One, they two, have three, four, five, six mana. Yeah, that's going to be really insane next turn. They have, they're they're going to draw back up to four cards. Yeah. So they have a lot of opportunity to find a, a new ring. To fairy? No. Oh, another solitude. Fourth solitude. Or third solitude. Third solitude. Sadness. Can I can I have priority opponent? Now they want us to look at their priority. Yeah, three solitudes is kind of hard for uh, our deck to deal with for the most part. Okay, they have one card left in hand. Play land. Play pillage the bog. We like to cast. Grab a persist. Oh no, they're exiled. Fuck. Yeah, let's say they're exiled, yeah. Oh, it's three of them. I only have one in my hand. That's yeah. it. So, are we grabbing... I guess I could grab a bitter reunion. Yeah. Hope to draw persists. There's one in our graveyard already, one in the bottom of our library. I guess I could have fetched in response. Oh, oh. never mind. Neat. <laughs> they have another leyline binding. Is that what they? Is that what they drew? No. Oh. Okay. They just like to surveil, I guess, in the middle of our trigger. Okay, they kept a card on top, so that seems scary. Right. I don't have any more uh, Art, things yeah. I can do. Like I, there's only this is the last archon in our library, so. Yep. All right, down to two they go. Die to the ring. Die. Die. <laughs> All right, played to our outs not perfectly, but no. did play to the outs. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing I really like against them is Veil. Okay. Like everything else kind of sucks, and I just usually go down on Lightning Bolts because they're only good against, like, Teferis, basically. Yeah. Yeah, seems good to me. This is one of the matchups you do want thought season, in, but as you saw that game, like we didn't resolve a single thought season, and it just did not matter. You know, you just don't need it because you can usually figure out what's going on. Yeah. But I don't hate having thought season in this matchup. I'm just saying, like, it's not, it's not a thing that I like actively like need to have in most of the cases you just kind of yeah play jam seize their thoughts okay. I got a fetch in response I don't I like people who did this to me a lot in the, or there was one player oh who they did have veil oh uh, okay that would make sense why they would do it okay that makes sense. I'm okay with it, but I've just had so many, like, fetch and response. I'm not okay with it, as in it's bad for us, but, like, at least they didn't fetch a tap for no land. Reason. Yeah, for no reason, you know. Really just kind of hoping to hit a ring here. I think this is... I'm going to thought see is fetch a... Uh... Oh, that might have been a load-bearing 
uh, Renin 6 on it, but yeah. the reason for that. Okay, so they do have a ring. They also have a Supreme Verdict. Okay, it was not a load-bearing Renin 6. Verdict only handles the first one, so I don't really care that much. Yeah. Uh, let's Plus, go to Commercial District. Yeah. I like that card. Yeah, the card's real good. Pass. All right, so they're picking back up the Windswept Teeth, but it's fine. Yeah. Interesting. They must have drawn something they could cast. Oh, oh nope, just cycle. They Got... pick up the cycle land. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. They had plenty of lands in their hands, so that makes sense. So now they play the Zygoth Trium tapped, and then they can hold up Leyland Binding. Yes. Never mind, they don't care about that. They're going to play a Halfling. Okie dokie. I never understand these Halfling Supreme Verdict decks. Yeah, I don't... I think it's... Yeah. I, so they have two unknown cards in hand. It's very bad combo. Same with drawing Ar Archon. Uh, I am going to discard one Archon. I think I'm just going to discard one Archon. They do have an island in hand to play the Verdict, but I kind of just want to make them play it, right? Yeah. So let's go... Attack run in six. Make a treasure. I get to have this um, Fable. Fable next turn. Yep. So I think I'm just doing this. They're going to discard a land. So they hand a Zagoth Triumph, Supreme Verdict, Island. Uh, okay, yep, they're playing Supreme Verdict, yep. we predicted. They're definitely playing Verdict. Oh, what? Uh, oh, they have a binding. No, the binding doesn't work. They have a solitude? At this point, I don't know. They also play this after their land. They seem to do that a lot. Like in the game, the last game. Just don't like value with Omnath. Because... They want to get this with the verdict, but I'm going to flip this and then play... Bitter Reunion and... Bitter Reunion. Discard Rockus Theater. Uh, crack this. It seems like really sus. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, good idea. I like that. I was going to say, we definitely want to try to get the extra... Any little bit of damage we can get. It's not the damage. I don't care about this one one attacking. Uh, yeah. What, did they just die because they're dumb? Is that what just happened? I think so, because extra four, you know, like, they should have definitely, uh... Yeah. They should have <laughs> just predicted. <laughs> yeah. They had 
fancy place in room except for they played their land then omnath and then died okay whatever so yeah what would have our turn been it would have been we flip this fable over we play and pa or we play the bitter union we would have drawn into the bog cast bog and that would have been that yeah and then they would have been like just fine yeah then they slam omnath play fetch land and oh, wow. we're in like, so much so trouble, much trouble yeah. yeah yeah i mean that's okay cool yeah <laughs> uh yeah so what do you what did you think of the thought seizes obviously i think i know what you think about the bogs but i guess we can tell everyone yeah i like the bug i thought the bug was cool it, it fit the game plan pretty well like look at the top 10 cards your library grab whatever you need it was like pretty nice yeah um i do think that because it's kind of like a turn four turn five type of play i didn't like it that much here where we're like kind of short on mana and resources i also think that i need to have another untapped i need another blood crypt in the deck to, to utilize it yeah um so maybe i'd only play two and play a 24th land in this build but i think over here where I'd like to try it out some more, where we're not playing Thought Seas, I think that it'll be much better. Yeah. I, like, I, th I think it'll be much more possible for us to just be like using Far Seeks to, to ramp up uh, and then using Pillage the Bogs in the mid late game to just Windmill Slam Archons and stuff. Which sounds fun to me. Um, yeah, I think that this will maybe just be a better shell for it. I agree. But I don't know. I Maybe I'll miss the Thought Seas a lot here, but. I don't really feel like I missed them a lot. We thought we thought these are opponent like multiple times when they're on the Cascade decks, so and we still just got destroyed. <laughs> it just didn't matter how many thought seasons we cast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we cast triple thought seasons against one of them, and it did not it didn't matter in the slightest. And it's so. also a little bit awkward with the tap lands too. Like, there's lot, so many turns where like, oh, I guess we're fetch shocking because we want to thought seize someone instead of like, you know developing our game plan yeah so i felt like that and then like yeah there was the turn the game against living end i think it was or one of the cascade decks where our second land was a tapped black source so like yeah so like it just didn't line up very well you know yeah and and i know that people love thought season this deck and think it's really necessary i just think it's a huge crutch that people have and they think it's doing doing stuff or being good um in that last matchup it was good like yeah we got to see exactly what our opponent was doing, take a ring out of their hand. Yes. And like slow the game down and let them make a mistake. But and, like, yeah. yes, Thought Seas is very good against control decks. <laughs> but also ramping mana and having being up on mana is also good against control decks. Correct, yeah. Also so. too the far seeks allowing you to like curate the top of your library with your Yeah. With the other lands really nice. So Yeah. Uh any other I guess thoughts? Uh, no, I'm I'm excited to try more Pillage the Bog. I think that this card is very good. Like I said, maybe I'll miss Thought Seize. You have a bad matchup in the Cascade. I think that's why people have sort of been going back to the four color and five color lists. Yeah. Um, and challenges and stuff, but I don't know. Like this deck is obviously still very powerful. But I, I like the I like the backup plan here of being able to tutor up, find my Archon, or find my creativities with lots of mana if I'm casting Far Six first. I completely agree. I I think I, I'm excited to play this list. I mean, I know I wanted to try the, the Thought Seas out, and yes, you can Thought Seas yourself, uh, put Archon in the graveyard, but like, I don't know. I think just ramping and just like hard cast, having the hard cast plan is much better for me than Thought Seizing myself. The other thing too is that this deck just wants to tap out every single turn and use all yeah. of its mana, and so when you can start double spelling on turns, that's really powerful. I agree, especially with Pillage of the Bog. Like, yeah, seems... like imagine like you know we, you, like turn two far seeked, and then turn three went you know, you know like Fable or cast a bitter reunion, and then after that you can like do multiple spells where you're like casting a uh, uh, pillage of the bog looking for a persist or looking for you know like a bitter reunion or looking for another fable or looking for a creativity like you have so much more you can do yeah it seems like having card selection in a deck it's kind of like what you know um the the delve spell like dig through time mm -hmm. you know like it's very powerful in this type of like a combo deck 
you know, mm-hmm. finding the extra piece, the piece that you need. And the cool thing about this deck is we obviously have Persist Plan, Dominant Creativity, you know, so like there's a lot of different um, choices that you can have. And again, Pillage Bog doesn't allow them to see the cards you take, right? Correct, it's yeah, not, just yeah. look at the top X and put one of them in your hand. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to reveal, if it's not a type, you don't have to reveal. Yeah. Yeah, so the card's good. I think with Farseek, I think I'm more excited to try this this list out. But uh, either way, that'll probably be the next uh, Gen Creativity list uh, list slash video we do, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.